So then we had a Cody promo. And uh, as Cody is a popular guy, he moves those numbers. So they decided we got to get this guy on the show. What the hell are we going to have him talk about? Well. Talk about The Rock. He had nothing to talk about. He talk goes, about The Rock. He goes, SmackDown, I'm going to be defending this title in France. Might be LA Knight, might be AJ. That's something to talk about. Oh, he says, Seth Rollins, he's at home. Just want to say thanks, Seth. You were a man of your word. Oh, you know that rock. It's like you do a stand-up routine with no comedy. This rock says he trained with guys all over the world and big money camp. I don't think rock has one match left in him. I think he's got plenty. He says he's going to make me bleed. Well, nothing will stop me from making you bleed with me. Yep. And we got to talk about the bloodline, he says. So, yeah, a year from now, we're going to do a double juice match. Yep. Tamatanga, by order of the tribal chief. What does that mean? No rock or no Roman Reigns around. Well, anyway, let's call out Jey Uso. He calls out Jey Uso. Well, I mean, that's, that was the thing. The, the idea was basically tell you that he's a SmackDown guy. Yes. So this is his farewell. And basically to endorse Jey Uso because with Seth Rollins gone, it's like Jey Uso's the guy now. So Jey says, I got to do this by myself tonight. And Seth goes, all right, well, I get it. And they hugged. And then he just left. He left the building. He never came back. Yeah. That was the end of that. We had a Nia promo. She uh, vowed to win this women's title. Draft is coming in two weeks. Mm. Also mentioned that. Finn Balor and Jey Uso. This was fine. Probably should have been better. But uh, Jey went for the big splash. Finn moved. Goes for the double foot stomp. Jey avoids it. Spears him. Big splash. Pins him. That was a match. Mm -hmm. Yep. Just just basic put Jey over for his match with Damian Priest, which is be on the uh, pay-per-view. Then we had the best thing on the show. Back to uh, is it Font. Is that the guy's name? Lee Fitting. Lee Fitting. Who's Font? Uh, he's a UFC fighter. No, there's Rob Font. One. Rob Rob Font. He's a welterweight UFC fighter. Okay, there must be someone else. Something. But anyway, Lee Fitting. Yeah. Bro, this guy. I don't know what you're paying him. Pay him more. They did a they did a deal at the end where Priest hits the ring, and Jay Uso gets jumped. And the fans are chanting for Cody, but there's no Cody. So Jay makes his own comeback, and he jumps over the rail, and he starts walking to the crowd. Now, this from this point forward, it is one uninterrupted, continuous shot. No cuts, nothing. Jay, Jay shoved some dude for no reason. <laughs> well, they're following him. Grabbed him or something? I don't know. They're like following this guy. He shoves this guy. I'm going, like, I'm going like, dude, you know, like people don't like when you shove people, but... So quick and whatever. Yeah. So so he leaves and he, they follow him like they, literally. He goes through the crowd. He goes up the stairs. He goes into the concourse. He goes through all these fans. He goes out a door. He is now in front of the building, and there's Sammy Zayn looking up. And he goes, "What are you looking at, Sammy?" Sammy goes, "25 years ago." How how cold, how cold was it in Montreal tonight? I don't know. He could find out. Because I was just wondering, he's out there without a shirt and everything, he's trying to play, you know, a bodybuilder deal, you know, with no shirt and cold. I don't know, maybe it wasn't cold weather. I just always think of Montreal, because whenever I've been to Montreal, it's always been cold. So. Well, Sammy says, 25 years ago, first show I ever saw right here in this building. And now yeah. I'm coming back as champion. You know what? Like that first day, I'm going to walk in through the front door. The camera still has not cut. It's still the same shot from when this guy left the crowd. Sammy now starts walking back through the building. They hit his music. They follow him through the concourse. They follow him down the stairs. Like this whole thing, one shot. It was awesome. Yeah. And he finally, this place is going crazy. It's 44 degrees. Place is going crazy. That's pretty damn cold. Yep. And he went banana. Mm -hmm. And he gets in the ring for his match with Chad Gable. And they, had great, they, they had a great match. You know, we talked about this the other day. Anybody who's trying to say, like, there's, there's WWE style and AEW style and... and like, it, it is truly homogenized. If you watch this match, these this dudes a, are dropping the, each other on their this, heads. This this was a Japanese-style match. Dude. This, wasn't, this was not an AEW or a WWE-style match. They're this doing a head style. drop in. They're, they're suplexing in the corners, landing on their heads. I mean, there, there was... was one, there was one suplex that, 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 uh, he, that Gable took. Um, that was a pretty scary one. Yeah, and also earlier in the show, they let... Uh, uh, Dom hit a Canadian destroyer on the apron on Andrade. Yeah. So like uh, the the cuffs are off, dude. Whatever yeah. you guys want to do, get out there and do it. And they're just killing each other. The crowds they love the match. 
And finally there at the end, Sammy uh, gets he gets laid out. Chad goes up top, uh, tries the moonsault. Sammy grabs the foot. Uh, Gable goes for the ankle lock. Sammy cradles him for a near fall. Hits the exploder in a corner, drops a guy in his head. Hits the running boot, gets the pin. And the place goes crazy. Sammy retains the title. Chad's in the corner. Chad is crying. Tears streaming from his face. He didn't win. Sammy lays the belt in the corner. He offers to help him up. He helps him up. He goes to raise Chad's head. Chad pulls his hand away. Chad raises Sammy's hand. He's crying. Sammy goes out. He's hugging his wife. His family's in the front row. And suddenly Chad grabs him from behind, and he gives him a German right there on the floor. Yeah. And he starts beating his ass, throws him over the announce table, puts him in an ankle lock around the metal turnbuckle thing. All these uh, officials run down to break it up as the show goes off the air. This was a great angle and a great match and, like, a yes, great right. ending to the show. It made, like, the whole show feel hot, which if you actually looked at the whole show, there was some stuff that wasn't very good. But this this made the show feel yeah, like a, a hot a, show. There was stuff that wasn't good, but but it was it was all kept short, and there was enough star power. And um, I thought, like, for a three-hour show, I didn't think it dragged like most three-hour shows. I mean, there no, were a few, you know, a few spots here and there, but it had a hell of a main event. It, it was a good. great main event. Yeah. yeah. What if this means the Creed's are turning? Wow. Uh, what's oh because they were training with with Gable they were training with Chad. Interesting. Yeah. 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 Could be. Could be. Probably. Probably be the best thing for him anyway. Yeah. Have a run as a heel. But they are kind of natural baby faces. Well, you know they are, but uh, everybody's got to do. Everybody's got to do something. Yeah. Apparently there was. Uh, I haven't watched the video yet, but uh, Dalen was there. And uh, he sent me a video, and he just says, massive heat for Chad Gable after Raw went off the air. So, yeah. uh, Well, obviously. I figured, I figured Sammy was going to get the win in his hometown, but then somebody was going to do something to get some heat. Yeah. And boy, did they ever. Yeah. Well, it's good. So you, so they'll probably have a rematch in uh, France. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, probably, probably, probably get the belt. Gable will probably get the belt. Yeah. Yeah. He could. Yeah. I mean, yeah. maybe maybe early, but we'll see. Yeah. 1950 pop culture quiz. The blank moved from New York to San Francisco in Giants. 1957. Holy sh... <laughs> a sports question? A sports ball question. Brian got it right. Do you know what sports? <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> the blank corporation introduced jute boxes that could play 45 and RCA. Wait a minute. i got to see if I have the answer. Hound cool. Dog. <laughs> no, that's the wrong question. Hound Dog? It's an Elvis Presley song. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Thank God we did this. <laughs> well, what's the answer? What was the question? <laughs> hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.